good morning and happy vlogmas day two so today's monday and i am heading to work um yeah this morning's been eventful um we've got up this morning and the boiler's broke which isn't fun um our boiler is an oil boiler because we live obviously in 800 feet turn left sorry i don't know if you can hear that but i've got the um oh gosh the direction thing on my phone anyway so uh yeah as i was saying we got up this morning and the boiler's broke and we have an oil boiler because where we live is very turn rural. left onto snaith road a1041 and we have no um gas in our village so yeah we have an oil boiler we had a brand new one fitted about four or five years ago um and it's been fine to be honest but um yeah we've got up this morning and it is situated in a, an outbuilding outside our house which has been converted into an office we had that done when we moved in about 12 years ago and uh yeah we've got up this morning so no heating coming on no hot water we've gone in and there is um continue on a1041 for one and a half miles a huge puddle of about an inch in the bottom of the office floor so that's not fun to wake up to because it's zero degrees at the minute so unfortunately it's meant my husband's had to ring in work um, so that he can get hold of our boiler man to try and come out as an emergency to sort that out today just what you need isn't it as in the lead up to christmas but hey ho that's life so yeah i'm on my way to work i'm sorry if this is like um if you're shaking a little bit my um little holder I've got in my car is um, it's not the best so um, I will try and remove some of the shaking when I upload this later but yeah I'm on my way to work now I don't normally work Mondays um, I normally work Wednesday Thursday Friday and then I do every other weekend as well however um, I had the opportunity to do some locum shifts um, as many of you will know I'm a nurse practitioner and I generally work in <coughs> general practice, um, so that's sort of GP surgeries in primary care, um, and do very much like a GP does. And yeah, I um, occasionally do some locum shifts to boost my income a little bit. And you know, it's lead up till Christmas, and thought it would be a good opportunity to do a little bit. So yeah, so Mondays in December, I'm working. And I'm going to a new practice today that I've not been to before, so I'm really nervous. I'm always, I always get really nervous when I have to go somewhere new. Um, and it's probably about half an hour away from where I live currently. It's actually the home of my birth as well. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just heading there now. Um, and I've left Hubby at home. Poor Hubby, who's got himself very stressed this morning mopping out the office, emptying it currently because it's full of stuff and uh, yeah, mopping it out and then he's going to let me know if the boiler man can come today. To In 1,000 feet out. at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Shearburn Terrace, A645. So uh, yeah, so I've got a full day at work today um, till 5 o'clock. Thank you so much for the lovely comments on my vlog that I uploaded yesterday. Um, I was reading through a lot of them last night and it was so lovely that so many of you were really looking forward to my Vlogmas. Um, that's really lovely. I was trying to catch up on a few Vlogmases myself last night. There are loads this year. I follow a few knitting podcasts as well and a lot of the knitters in the knitting community do some gorgeous vlog vlogs at Vlogmas. They really sort of take it to, uh, take it to town at Christmas time so um, I might link to a few down below if you're interested because they're really lovely um, but uh, but yeah there's quite a few sewists as well in the sewing community that are doing vlogmas this year as well which is really lovely um, yeah so um, I uh, yeah I was catching up on a few of those last night had a bit of a nightmare with the knitting I started knitting my daughter's hat and in the instructions for that pattern it said US needle size 6 so I got my UK size six needles out and uh, cast on on that and was merrily working away at the ribbon and thought blimey this is big um, yeah then I uh, realized actually UK and US sizes are completely different and a US size six is actually UK size four so I'm gonna have to rip that out and start that again 
never mind it's just one of those things it's a beautiful morning anyway so um yeah i've got my directions on on my phone because i i don't know particularly although i know the area where i'm going i don't know where the particular um medical center is that i'm driving to so i'm gonna turn you around and you can follow me on my way on this beautiful beautiful frosty morning i'll see you later Day over it went really really well and yeah really nice practice actually um, lovely patients lovely staff so it's been a lovely day um, but yeah I'm a bit weary and um, I'm now on my way home now the update on the boiler saga is that the boiler was absolutely fine my husband was trying to get hold of our original installer who put the boiler in about four or five years ago um, but he's not in business anymore and because we have an oil boiler it's really difficult to find engineers that actually look after oil boilers particularly where we live um, so anyway he managed to ring around a few this morning but most of them were really busy and said they could get out this week which is no good when we've got no hot water because I want to go home and have a shower and um, anyway he did manage to get somebody to come and have a look and it turns out the boiler is absolutely fine what wasn't fine was the pipe that um, attaches from the boiler into the main house because as I explained this morning our boiler is in an outbuilding which has been converted into an office and uh, that pipe has been gnawed through by a mouse or some mice and if you remember vlogmas last year if for those of you that watched vlogmas last year you will know we had a mouse escapade in our house last year and now it seems that since we managed to get rid of them out of the house they've taken up residence in our outside um, outside office where our boiler is housed and have eaten their way through um, the pipe so yeah basically these pipes are plastic I was really quite shocked I thought they were all metal now but clearly not um, and that's where, where the leaks from so it's been a, a quick and cheap fix most importantly three weeks before Christmas that's all we needed was that kind of expense but it's done so I can go home and have a hot shower so that's good but poor husband has been dealing with that all day oops a bit wobbly I'm really sorry if this is giving you a headache and um, yeah so that's that so yeah I'm now on my way home and uh, not sure what I've got planned for the evening tomorrow I'm at university so um, I'll take you along with me and you can see where I'm at uni um, yeah just in the morning and then I've got a tutorial with my well it's the course lead actually um, mainly because I'm doing my dissertation year what I've actually been thinking about I've had a lot of stress going on with various things 
um, as we all do from time to time um, but I've had a, a significant amount in the last few weeks really and um, it's been exacerbated with my dad being ill and I was thinking of deferring my dissertation so I am um, I've got a meeting with the course lead tomorrow to discuss that further I'm not sure at this moment in time whether I am going to do that or whether I'm just going to persevere um, but I want to give it my all and um, I don't know if my head's in the right space at the minute so yeah I think I just want to look at options that's the only thing so um, yeah that's the plan for tomorrow but as for now I've just hit the motorway and um, I'll probably catch up with you later on when I'm home so I'm back from work and I've just had my tea and I thought you might like to see what I've been wearing today. Um, yeah, so if you remember last night I said that I was going to possibly get the sew over it cowl neck dress. Well, I did. I bought it while the sale is still on. And gosh, I'm all out of breath. Um, and uh, yeah, I made it up last night um, out of this viscose jersey that I'd got in my stash because we all know how much fabric I've got in my stash. Um, so I thought you might like to see it. I've been wearing it with those trousers that I made on Saturday and finished yesterday as well. So I'm just going to put you down and then I'll show you um, how it looks. Right, so there's the top. And um, yeah, I know my head's cut off at the minute, but it's just so that you can see the top a little bit better. Now, I'm a little bit, I don't know, it's... I like it but it was a very quick make it probably took me an hour from taping the PDF together to actually getting the fabric cut out and sewn up it was really really quick um, I've made up a size 12 but I did have to take it in a lot of the size I mean it's still fairly loose I don't know if it's supposed to be that loose but um, but yeah um, I had to take it in loads because it was just massive I don't know if anybody else has made this and you know what you think to it um what else can I tell you the the one thing that I really don't like I just think it's really wide it's like falling off my shoulders all the time and you can see obviously bra straps and things and I don't like that so I'm having to sort of oik it up onto my shoulders I love the fabric the fabric's really nice I don't know if I've just gone out of focus there um probably been moving around too much um yeah so I'm a little bit I don't know I think I'm gonna to have to just adjust the pattern a little bit I just think it's too I don't know why it keeps falling off my shoulders I mean you can see the top of the sleeve is there and there and it's just wanting to fall off all the time so maybe I don't know I mean even the back's wide isn't it so maybe I just need to go down a size Um, I'll probably try that I think try and cut the size 10 out Um, and yeah I've been wearing it with my trousers that you can see here um, a couple of you mentioned actually, hang on, let me just bring you back. Yeah, a couple of you mentioned that um, it might be a good idea to either add a deep cuff on the bottom of my trousers. Um, and yeah, that's a really good idea. Um, I'd already, I have hemmed them now though. So I have just done a blind hem on my sewing machine though, so I could unpick that, I guess, and put a deep cuff, deep cuff on. Um, so I might do that actually, it's probably quite a good idea. So I'll think about it anyway, but thank you for that, for those of you that mentioned it. Um, the rest of the evening, obviously poor Marley has been in his crate nearly all day while hubby has been on boiler duty. So we're now going to take him out for a little walk. Uh, we're probably just going to take him into Cowick Hall, which is a big um, manor house that's just down the road from us. It's, I think I did, fe did feature in Vlogmas on one of my Vlogmas episodes last year and um, it's beautiful it's now the headquarters the world headquarters of Croda which is like a they do like chemicals and things I'm not sure but anyway beautiful building so and it's lovely when it's lit up on a night so we're going to probably just take him up there and um, I'll take you along with me and then I'm probably just going to be chilling for the rest of the evening so uh, I'll see you soon <laughs> 